Oh, hey, uh, sorry, I was watching some Michael Reeves. <laughs> Wouldn't it be funny if someone turned him into a robot? <laughs> Actually. Oh, oh, oh. oh, hey, ladies and gents, uh, what was I talking about? Michael Reeves. If you don't know who Michael Reeves is, he's one of the crackhead scientists of the internet, making robots such as a robot dog that pisses beer, Trigger Me Elmo, and a rumor that screams when it bumps into things. Truly some amazing and innovative ideas. And I was sitting in my room one day thinking, man, wouldn't it be funny if we turn the man that makes robots into a robot? So fuck your idea is bad and you should feel bad. Which is why we're here today. The plan is simple. The robot's gonna have two modes. One being, if you pick me up, I'm gonna fucking shock you. The second one being, your robot ID is bad. Now, if you couldn't tell, this one, the, the first one, it tases you. I know. Shocker, right? Pretty sure I made that same joke for almost all the taser videos on my channel. For this first mode, whenever you pick up mini Michael Reeves, he will get mad at you and tase your hand with a TENS unit and scream a voice line, which we'll go over later. For the second mode, whenever you tell Michael Reeves a robot idea, he'll get mad at you and tell you your robot idea is shit or bad, and you should feel bad, just like the man himself. Now, I already started making this robot on a live stream that I did on my Twitch channel, if you want to go check that out. Sadly though, the second part of the stream is missing because some dumbass <laughs> accidentally turned off the internet. <laughs> Wonder who that was. <laughs> So a good chunk of the progress is gone. But no matter, I was already gonna summarize it anyway. Let's get into the build. As you can see, uh, here, give me a second. Hey, I like my green screen, <laughs> AKA my bed sheets. So what they say, when you don't have a green screen, you use the blanket off your bed. They don't say that, but I do. So as you can see here, basically we have like the first part of the project done, you know, the main build and everything, nothing more, nothing less. This project is consisted of two parts. We have part A and we have part B. Part A is the part you're gonna be picking up, the part's gonna have the mouth and Michael Reeves' face, and part B is the part that holds lots of electronics. You can refer to these two parts as the body, and most importantly, the ass. Why the ass? because that's where all the shit goes. The body's not gonna have a lot of electronics because most of the electronics are gonna be in the ass like we said earlier. The only electronics I plan to have there are TENS pads and, and a servo and possibly an LED. Right now though, all we have is a servo. The servo was there to help move the mouth so it looks like he's actually talking. Now for the ass, it's a whole different story. In this part of the project, it has the most electronics, which consists of a TENS unit, an Arduino, an ultrasonic sensor, a relay board, and as always, the beautiful and wonderful Spaghetti. Now that we have this first part of the project, I'm gonna have to do some work on it, you know, add to it, change it around a little, which I'm gonna do right now, or tomorrow, or the next day. Honestly, whenever I feel like it. Hey, uh, sorry, it's been about a week, uh, my bad. But the project is finished, I finished it and everything. I'm really happy with how it turned out. I sadly did have to get rid of his arms, but who needs them? In place of his arms though, I added a whole bunch of cool shit. Like, I finally added the relay board so the project works. I gave him a lovely little name tag. I added this lovely little compartment so all the loose wires had a place to go. Put the tense pads on his body so he actually tases you. And I gave him a lovely little nut shirt made by yours truly. I also gave him a crack pipe. Why? <laughs> Why not? Now I got the project fully done and anything, it's now time for the code. I'll make it quick, I promise. For the first mode that shocks your hand when you pick it up, using this code, it will use a ultrasonic sensor. An ultrasonic sensor is something that detects distance. If this sensor detects Michael getting a little too high, it will turn on the relay, allowing the TENS unit to shock your hand. It will also tell the server to open Michael's mouth so he can say some lovely little voice lines using this code, like, Nightmare, 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 nightmare. Go fuck yourself. Okay. The last one's pretty simple, but effective. The second mode uses speech recognition. And using this code, whenever it detects the words robot idea, it will open Michael's mouth using the servo and tell you a lovely line, your idea is bad and you should feel bad. And if it hears anything else, it will just say, hmm. It's now time to test out the robot, as I like to call it, and see how well it works in action. So now I'm gonna cut to my desk. I, I got the project here, it's not armed or in anything, and we're about to test it out. I'm gonna test out the second mode first because it's the easiest one to test out, and it shouldn't take that long. So I'm starting up the code right now. Give me your robot ideas because I love them so, 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 so much. Robot idea. Your idea is bad and you should feel bad. Isn't it great? It's so simple, but so effective. I, I don't know, I don't know. And like I said before, if you say something, you know, that isn't a robot idea, like... Give me your robot ideas because I love them so, 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 so much. Banana. Huh? <laughs> I don't know why, but it's oddly terrifying how it just goes, hmm? I'm gonna do it one more time just in case you didn't see it the first time. Give me your robot ideas because I love them so, 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 so much. Robot idea. Your idea is bad and you should feel bad. 
Yes, you should. <laughs> okay, so that's basically everything we have for the second mode. It isn't much, but I still thought it'd be fun to put in and make, because why not? There's always a meme on his channel how he hates everyone's robot ideas, so it'd be a shame not to make it. But now it's the part you all been waiting for, the part where I get tased. Let me uh, set up the second mode, so give me a second. Hey, and no, I'm not playing chess. Uh, sorry for the weird setup. It's just this is the best way I found I could record this part of the video. So we have it all set up. The only thing we have to do now is arm it. The way you arm it is it on the back, as you can see, there's these two little dials. We just want to turn all those up to eight. And there it is. It's now fully armed and ready. All we have to do is run this code. Also, while the code's running, let me say, this is a TENS unit, not a taser. The only reason I'm saying it'll tase me is because it's like using electricity, ah, you know, clickbait shit. But I'm just saying, it's not tasing me and it doesn't hurt. In fact, I already tested that when I was trying to figure out how I was gonna record this part. It just feels like your hand is vibrating very fast. Okay, so it seems to be started and ready. So the only thing left to do now is uh, pick it up. Fuck. So if I touch it right now, nothing happens. But when I pick it up, Jesus, still on, still on. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> it's still on, it's still on. Okay, it's off, it's off. Fuck. It's just very shocking, and it's like, I, again, I say that a lot on every single video, but that is the best way I can describe it. I can't even speak. It's like a quick and sudden vibration of your hand, and it's just like, and also, if you heard, it was actually screaming out the voice lines while I was screaming in pain. But hey, isn't this the perfect way to encapsulate Michael Reeves? A robot that literally fucking tases you? Like, literally the best way to make a Michael Reeves into a robot. I'm gonna test it out one more time before I end the video. Just like I did with the previous mode. So this time, I'll really try not to throw it on the floor. Okay, it's ready. And, um, hey, thank you for watching. <laughs> Okay, okay, Don't okay, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. Welcome to the end of the video. I'm currently out in my basement and working on the video. It's about finished, but all I need is the outro. I'm really happy to finally finish this project. It's been sitting on my desk for a while. To get it done, it just feels really nice. And also, now I don't have Michael Reese staring at me every time I go to sleep. Like a fucking sleep paralysis demon. Truly though, I love this project. It came out just how I envisioned it, so, and that's what makes it so great. One of the bigger reasons why I'm making this is, at, if you don't know, Michael Reese actually saw my Will Smith robot I made in my last video. He talked about it on the OTB podcast. Um, here's that clip. I usually don't, but I saw one just yesterday. It was like, fuck, what was that one? Oh yeah, he made like a, a little robot that, um, it was like a Will Smith robot that slapped you. <laughs> I was like, that, I would have fucking done that for sure. It's Damn. really funny. I think he just made it listen to if he said, fucking, what is his wife's name? Jada? Jada? Jada yeah. Pinkett Smith, and then it was slapping. <laughs> like, yell a little bit. <laughs> Good thing we got that on the on the car. <laughs> so yeah, that's really fucking cool. Cause I don't know if you could tell, but my channel is kind of based off of Michael Reeves' content. I know, surprising, right? I do want to thank him though, because uh, the Will Smith robots were now one of my most viewed videos on my channel. So thank you, Michael. I really do appreciate that. But yeah, now it's time for the challenge of the video. As always, I want you to improve my approved trash. So basically, if you can make something that's better than my robot Michael Reeves, make it and post it on my subreddit that I made. I really like to see these things. Or you can just post memes there. I really don't care. That's really all I have to say. I hope all of you enjoyed this video as much as I did. I hope all of you have a great day, and as always, stay trashy.